And our top story, they're trying to figure out why a limo burst into flames over the weekend, killing a bride and four of her friends in this horrible limo accident that happened on the San Mateo Bridge. There we are. There's the white limo. We're above the scene here with our helicopter partnership and ABC 7 News. And you can see the firefighters there, but it was far too late. The flames had already engulfed the women, nine of them that were in the back of the limo when this fire broke out around 10 o'clock on Saturday. Saturday night westbound side of the San Mateo Bridge and five women were stuck in the back couldn't get out and died in the fire. Four other women though were able to get out. They had to uh, basically climb through that little window that separates the back and the driver and then go out through the front. So they're trying to look at what happened. Why did the fire break out and why couldn't those other women get out of that fire James? Yeah a lot of questions here that still need to be answered. Maybe we'll get some of those answers today. There is a press conference scheduled for later this morning and the uh, CHP I think will be taking point on that, although they will be joined by other agencies. Crawford's Will Tran is actually standing by in Redwood City where that press conference will take place. Will. James, there's a good chance we will get some answers, and that's because the CHP told us late last night to be here at 10 o'clock in the morning. They, first responders, the fire department, will be here to answer all of the questions that we throw at them, including what caused this fire? There's still so many questions. The fact that the fire happened in the back and not the front of the limousine. People are wondering how long was that fire going before people inside the limousine realized it. And here's YouTube video from the fire you can see is already a ball of flames initially somebody knocked on the partition told the limousine driver there was smoke and fire but apparently the limousine driver misunderstood he thought the woman asked can you smoke in the limousine and he said no that's not allowed there was a second knock on the partition that's when he realized wait a minute this is dangerous he pulled over it only took about 30 seconds or so but by then only four people managed to escape five including the limousine driver. So he's unharmed. The four others, well, they're in the hospital this morning in the intensive care unit. One of the victims, and we talked about it already, was the bride. She was four minutes away from seeing her husband when the fire happened. She worked out of Fresno, and we got a chance to talk to her friend. All of us work Friday night. We have an inside joke. When it's time, we were so busy, and we will say, is it time for tea? <laughs> so Friday, for some reason, that was the only night we didn't say, is it time for tea? Now she's gone. And James, how horrific was this? How horrific was this? We found out from the first responders that all five women were huddled together. They obviously were trying to escape, but apparently when they were unable to escape, they were huddled together trying to protect each other. Lots of questions, including why they were not able to flee out of the back door. Lots of questions, including electrical problems. We'll try to get answers for you when we carry that newscast for you live as it happens. I'll leave you with this. Even the first responder, one of them who has 21 years on the job, even he said this is the most horrific accident he has ever seen. Back to you, James.